Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm outside Anfield with Kev. Kev, my friend, um, you came out here with your dad. You know, when you when you first came to Burnley, I thought this is the start of something special. Oh no, no, no. But come on, it's Burnley <laughs> way, Alex Brov, man. The standards are dropped that low that beating middles of six one and Burnley four one, we get happy about. And as soon as you come up against the task light. Just competing. I said it would be 2-0 to Liverpool, so I wasn't expecting anything. But just coming in and competing against big teams, we come and we flop straight away. Every single game we played, we flop. So, yeah, Burnley, <laughs> a long time away ago, but, you know, the levels are still the same. There's no improvement in this team whatsoever. How long does it take to see significant improvement, though, when we talk about a process? It shouldn't take six months, seven months for a manager to start embedding tactics and a formula of gameplay. Like when you look today, the first half we was absolutely clueless. Like what was going on in that pitch? I think we had got into their box about three times. I think Chilwell's, uh, Zakhan and Chilwell could have possibly been a penalty. But you can't just rely on penalties to win your games. You know where, where was the patterns of play? Where was the the drive, where was, you know, getting the ball forward and we have intensity, where was the press? There was nothing at all on that pitch to, to make me feel like we've got a, a chance in the Carabao Cup final. And this is the game for us to, to come here and show show the fans and show themselves that they can compete and they clearly can't. Yeah. Do you think we miss Nico Jackson? <laughs> Jackson today, if he was there, would have probably had a couple of chances to miss. They can't just depend on one player to change things around. They can't. We could have had a prime Didier Jobber in that team today. If the team are not stepping up, they've got no chance. Like, look at Sterling. This wants to run right, just jog around the pitch. Like, you can't just depend on any player, one player to change things around. It's got to come from the whole team. It's got to come from the manager implementing the style of football. And what I can see right now is it's a clueless thing right now what we're seeing on a weekly basis. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> God. <coughs> I, I have, I feel horrific, but I've managed to come out anyway. I've been on pills and strepsils, <laughs> Fair play. trying to get the chance going. But um, so like I... you know, the the truth is, for me, I I have mixed emotions because it is not a good result. I can't, I can't, you know, I can't come out and say that. But you know, I've seen so much worse, and that is why I'm not. You know, absolutely fuming like some other fans are. Oh. But at the end of the day, four one still a terrible scoreline. Alex, we've just got to come and compete, man. We've just got to come and compete, and we're just it's just the same old. Like we pass the ball across the back. We're not taking risks. There's no intent. There's no intensity. There's there's nothing at all. Like it's it's happening all. Do you know in the last three months, four months, we've only won one away game, and that's against Luton, which we nearly lost. Like. Like can I say, I've been to most away games that up north and we haven't won a game. We haven't even had a chance. So, of course we're going to get angry, Alex. Like, you're, like, you're, I absolutely adore you, mate, for staying so calm and so positive on a weekly basis because I'm coming here and every single week we are getting turned over. There's nothing at all to suggest to me that this team's moving forward right now. And like I said, I was over the fancy posh out and I'm still there. Because how can I be happy if a 6 1 against Munners, bruh, when you come here and get turned over? There's nothing at all. We're not, we're not com just, just competing is the, the minimal expected for Charles Football Club, and we're not doing it at the moment. Yeah. What, what do we need to do to compete then? Obviously, we talk about the manager. Is it a case of, you know, we're just looking at him, or do we have to look at the players as well? I have to keep on saying this because this is my philosophy of football. Everything comes from the manager. And you can see a Villa team last year that was in the bottom three, you know, um, Ray, has come along and he's took, he's, he's, he's took them to a top four team. So it's got to be the manager, isn't it? The tactics and the style of football and everything comes from the manager. So I can't completely put it on posh, but I can say 80% if it's on his head. 80%? At least 80%, because the players don't look like they've got... The players don't know what they're doing. There's no, there's no, like I say, little things in, in a football match, patterns of play and uh, tactics and stuff like Look at today, like Enzo, we got on the ball well, but who's showing for the ball? He keeps us starting Palmer in, them, in an enforced number nine, he's not getting on the ball. Palmer's dropping deep, he's making the runs in behind. There's, there's no patterns of play. And this, is, this comes from the manager going in the training pitch and implementing the style of football. And then from, from what I can see on a regular basis, nothing's happening at the moment. I suppose the only defence you could make for some of the strange tactical decisions we see, playing players out of 
our position is because of the injuries we've had. So hopefully now that we have Chukwemeka coming back, obviously Chilwell, uh, Gusto, yeah, Kunku as well, we'll start to actually see a system where we can build around our best players. After me, after me, um, when we went 3 down, we started playing um, and Kunku got the goal and you know, you can see bits and bobs, you can see the intent they were tiny bit, but still like, there's no drive, there's no passion, there's no leadership on that pitch and I'm not seeing Pochettino standing up and directing us. I'm not seeing anybody on that pitch standing up to standing up and fighting, you know what I'm trying to say? So um, yeah, obviously we're gonna get players back, but are the players gonna gonna make things different? I don't know. I can't say the world at the moment. I can't say the players coming back can make us better because end of the day you could have eleven of the best players in the pitch. If the manager's not implementing a style of football, how are they gonna know what to do? Well, we've spent enough money. Now it is about developing the players we have. You know, we talk about Mudrich, all oh, these players. I don't even bother talking about Mudrich anymore, bro. Just, just, just don't. <laughs> like, we just, it, it seems to come up in a lot of conversation at the moment. The guy's clearly not cut out for Charles Football Club, bro. I'm Ever having... or just right now? Ever. This is, is he's just not cut out, brother. And uh, like today, like, the chance of window's probably gone now, and we're here standing there we've still like we still have a billion pounds we haven't got a goal scorer in that team someone to put the ball we have to keep saying every week we haven't got someone to put the ball in the back of the net so even if we do get chances they're just going to get spurned and that's the way it's going at the moment mate yeah, hopefully Nkunku is that guy though but oh, we just need to keep him fit well I said to someone in the standard in the concourse two shots and two goals well he's the only world class player in his him and Thiago Silva I can say are the, are the only world class players in that in that squad right now yeah, we just need some. We just need some consistency, mate. I mean, if we can't get consistency in terms of having players available, I do think it's difficult. But that's not an excuse because you still set a team up. And it's interesting. Pochettino said he he was going to set the team up to win, but oh. it didn't really look that way in the first half. Uh, we could, it's clear to see that we sat back and we, we invited pressure. And oh my God, it was it was so hard to see down that uh, uh, left hand side. And Diaz kept on getting that ball, and he had the freedom of, of Anfield. Running this arse, he was nowhere near him. And uh, good substitution after it's been Gusto one. He did make a make a little bit of a change, but it's just the same shit every fucking week. Oh, like we're going over the same shit, and you know, uh, just finishing the top eight. You know what, Brendan? Can you just show us that again? So we've just got a replay, Kev, of the Nkunku penalty appeal. Tell me what you think about this. What's your instant reaction? Dave. <laughs> Chill Walls was more of a party than that. And the thing, the thing is, no, no, he kicked his foot, mate. Look, he kicked his foot. Oh well, that is, he wasn't a, he kicked his foot, but he wasn't a falling over kick. It wasn't like a kick like that. It was just like a. Still, was more of a penalty than that. And the thing is, what strikes me, why have they got no cameras here, Anfield, for us to see the VAR? The fucking cheating bastards, mate. Liverpool are cheating bastards, mate. But end of the day. We can't make, we can't keep making excuses. Oh, is it part of the part of this? Let's go and win the game. We can't keep coming to games and making excuses for poor performances. Like we should have had a party. We should have had this. We should have, we have a key men missing. Just come and compete. Just come and fight and battle and have a style of football and try and not contain them and not not concede goals. Right now, the walking walking goals and walking goals in left, right, centre. That's good teams are walking goals in against us. Do you think that we can bounce back in the uh, cup final? Liverpool will be favourites for me once again. Like I said, it's a psychological thing. They've come and done that, done that to us today. If I was clap, I'd be like, more again in the final. More again in the final and you win the game. Simple as that. If Liverpool come out and play 80% how they did today, they've won that game. Simple as that. So, um, I just want to see us beat Wolves, first and foremost. Go to Villa, get a, get a result and we'll just take the final. What we're going to do now is, for us to turn it around, is the games in between that. So, if we can pick up performances now up until Liverpool game we've got a chance but right now if the performances stay at the same level as this mate you might as well not even go to Wembley and waste your time thank you very much Kev Cheers, always a pleasure